Hey, koala. Oh, look, there's a small person who's walking right in at the beginning of the show. Come on over and say hi, hey, koala. Guys. What up? This is hey, uh, TDD Academy. You? He is the up and coming developer. What's your what's your programming uh, language of choice? Uh, Java. Uh, jo Def definitely Java. Yeah. So of course you use TDD to do your code. Is that right? No. Oh, David. Oh. It's oh, a house shame. divided. <laughs> shame, shame, shame. Wow. David says. <laughs> so uh, anything else you have to say? You have a TDD question here. I was going to go out to the school. Oh, well, that's not a TDD question. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, thank you for popping in. And do uh, you think about reforming your test-driven development on, on Java? All right? You join yes. in. Okay. Well, there we are, an unexpected drop-in visitor. So, hey, so I'm Lance Kind, Agile coach and technical Go coach and developer dude and all that kind of stuff. Uh, David. Cool. Nice. So How are you? <laughs> yeah. Soon yeah. to be master of many. It, you have to help me, man. The phone's <laughs> been ringing off the hook. <laughs> wow. So what's going on? Just, just, just leave the phone just, off the hook. Isn't that what people do? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I was going to back the... Uh, truck into the telephone pole and just knock it over but that maybe just leaving off the hook is the right thing <laughs> well, that's the texas way i suppose <laughs> yeah. just don't hit the power lines david there's been enough trouble about that already that, yeah we well, don't want to go there <laughs> that's right well hey yeah i hear there's something going on about uh what breaking up the um breaking up dependencies Breaking up dependencies. Yeah, we've got dependencies all over the kazoo here. You just saw my dependent. He walked in and said he doesn't do TDD, so he had to go walk to school. <laughs> yeah, yeah, send him back to school. He'll learn it there. <laughs> yeah, they teach a lot of it there, I think. Freshman, <laughs> high school. <laughs> yeah. i got to go talk all to right. the teacher. Talk yeah. to the principal about this. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, maybe you could go help that school a little bit. <laughs> you know, that's true. We got to catch them while they're young, David. Yeah. If you get them while they're young and get them hooked, yeah. Test infected. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, we're I, I, we're breaking up dependencies. Um, I remember we talked about a reference architecture, and we did some. Maybe I don't know if they're considered pretty pictures. I have to walk across the room to get mine. If, if, but sh shall I do that or, or? Your your pretty picture's not just right here. It's not in hand reach. I can't. My arm's not big enough right now. <laughs> oh, oh well. Here, Whoa, look on screen. What's this? It's a little blog article that? about that referenced architecture. Snap. Yeah. I'm gonna turn off my. I'm trying to turn off your notifications, but anyways. Oh, maybe I'll, I'll turn mine off. I'll leave mine alone then. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Wow! So there's the pretty picture right here. In in, uh, so this is this is what happens when you're a professional, folks. Is you get out a piece of paper and you draw boxes, not necessarily straight lines. That's optional. If you're going to do straight, you have to get a computer out. So, I particularly like the dot 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 to the other box. Yeah. Well, that's where the money is. That's the the, the millions of apps. Yeah. Which, Between you know, those two. Yeah. I mean, quite frankly. Everything in the world could use a deck of cards. I'm just saying. So this is this is actually a pretty uh, fungible idea. You can apply this to many purposes. Fungible. Yeah. Well, I mean, look. And son, fun. You know, remember the my dependent who walked in here. My dependency. <laughs> yeah. Your dependency. He, he's gonna be taking driver's ed soon, David. You know, maybe driver maybe schools will need something need like this too. Need a card pack. Yeah. State. Yeah. Governments may want to have study materials and card packs for the driver's test. It 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 just goes on and on. The, the, <laughs> I, I'm telling the, you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. So we have uh, this class. And, oh yeah, scary question. So yeah, that's the Lance is awesome. Oh, thank you. I got I got I got credit for the awesomeness of that one, huh? <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. I give credit where it's where it's due. Yeah. Right, right, yeah. Right. And then, well, uh, 
So should we keep uh, refactoring? Because what I recall is we have unit tests that are connected to deck live pack that are still referring to scene delegate. Yeah. Yeah, let me see if I, uh, I, I just had to shut down Xcode because it was behaving poorly. And uh, I knew you would want to run the test before anything happened and it was, it, it was not being happy in test land. Oh. So I just shut it down and restarted it. So, um, so we'll see if it gets happier today now. Oh, look at this. We have, we have a breakdown. We have a breakpoint. That's uh, not a breakdown. That's a breakpoint. Somebody's set a breakpoint in my code. Yeah, in the D init. <laughs> um, Somebody set a breakpoint in D init. Yeah, I, I, I've got nothing there. Must have I, stuck in that, I suppose. Huh. I have no idea how you set breakpoints. That's a bad topic, David. You could say that for a later show. Oh, I can set breakpoints. I set them by mistake no, I mean, all the time. I mean the deinitializer. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the deinitializer. Yeah. It probably undoes what an initializer does. Yeah. What do you think? I, I'm what? with you. I believe so. Or is that the stuff you put on your windshield? I, to? Oh, on your windmill? Sorry, what was that? On your windshield to, oh. to get the ice off. Maybe. De I've never yeah. deinitialized my windshield before. <laughs> So the tests are running and they're running considerably oh slow, I guess, because we hit this break point. Oh, the which, paused. Yeah, which. So if you go down and hit the pause button at the bottom of the there, over to the right, one more. Continue. Oh, that's a continue Boom. button. Test succeeded. That's what I needed. So you, Thank you, you. you've done it, David. You've made your automated test manual again. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> I love manual test. It keeps me employed. <laughs> you too can do this at home, folks. <laughs> Don't recommend it, but you could. <laughs> Put a break point in a denitializer and nobody will figure However it out. However you did that, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if we do it again, what happens. Let's, I'm just curious if we can hit that deinitializer again. All right. <laughs> so... We're, we're back to golden again. Oh, I thought you were going to write a Medium article about this deinitializer breakpoint strategy, but yeah. <laughs> that, might, that might be good. I'll put it in my, my pay site on uh, <laughs> Paywall? Uh, Behind a paywall? <laughs> yeah, get a paywall. I, I hate that site because of the paywall. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, we're, um, we're needing to break, break some dependencies. I don't even know where they are anymore. They... There's so many scattered around all over the place, here and there. Um, oh, but Scene Delegate has our card pack in it. Yeah. And theoretically, that's going to give us capability of having multiple card packs per app, right? Yeah. The, the back to the boxes, yes, sir. Okay, but you you're wanting to get rid of this dependency in all our test code, where we wrote up all these. Uh, was it those uh, those tests are well, for the uh, that word I have to read over there. Deck pack library. Uh, the deck pack library. That is that the word. Well, I'm just, I'm just reading the, the official fantastic uh, reference architecture that was drawn, and it's on the oh, website. <laughs> oh, it's not deck lib pack, it's deck pack lib. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of words. <laughs> we might have to change that sometime. <laughs> well, lean it up a little bit. Yeah, I think, I think I was reading it wrong, and it never came out, it never flowed out real oh, well. That, yeah, there's a carrot down there, deck. Yeah. Sorry, that's writer shorthand for this word it, down here. <laughs> It, yeah, I think it's an upside down carrot, if you ask me. Advanced but. move, man. I'm teaching you, teaching you about the uh, how to, uh, you know, when you when you want to join the writers club here, we'll we'll we'll, we'll t teach you more of those. Okay. All right. That's yeah. That's an advanced move. I don't need to know that. <laughs> yeah. But I've got passing test. Sweet. And 
uh, dependencies out the yin yang. Oh my dear, look at that deck. That's a reference to deck. And it's taking in scene delegate. So scene delegate's the bad guy, folks. We're trying to, anytime we see scene delegate in the, um, so in the future, we're gonna create a separate module for the deck pack library and a separate module for the app. And then any new apps will have separate modules too. And each of those apps will have their own scene delegate. So we cannot have dependencies in our tests that live in deck pack library back to scene delegate. It needs to be independent of that. So we gotta break the dependency. Just like sending my kid to school, you know, that's, that's, that he'll probably doing? come back, unfortunately. I don't think that's, I don't think I broke it. I think he'll come back, but uh, <laughs> we'll find Maybe out later. If he's, if he's back in an hour, knock, 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 that's probably, <laughs> that, that'll tell you. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, you get, you send him off with a little note pinned to his shirt and say, you know, fine work, <laughs> needs work. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if my wife's ready for the break of the dependency yet on that one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's a little harsh, isn't it? <laughs> so what are we going right. to do here? We have, we have scene delegate here, and we have it in a card sequence, and we don't want it referring to scene delegate. So uh, when I look at this test, I see, well, w you know, we could make a simple... So number sequence and card sequence are two arrays. We can make a smaller version of that set and put it inside this test, embed it in the test, which would break that dependency for this test. Um, and, uh, you know, we'd like to keep our code as maintainable as possible, meaning less lines to maintain is better. So uh, how, how should we do that? And so this one's got a couple of cards that it needs because it's setting values and then come down here and uh, testing. Yeah, I'm seeing 10 cards. So. Do we need 10 cards in our setup for this? Um, I don't think we need 10. We need these specific cards. So, or no, we need, I, I think we need three card, four cards. Um, okay, so what if you right change now that to happens four? To be these. Like, what if and, you change 10 to four? <laughs> and yeah. uh, will the test still pass if you do that? So um, selected equals true. And yeah, I think so. Let's let's run it and find out. I mean, why sweet. why sit around here and shouldn't um, we discuss this at ad nauseum? It, we yeah, we could or we could just ask the computer. Oh man, we're and gonna use our said, automation to to help us out. Said, That's cool. It said yeah. Look, that we just fourth, saved a bunch of time. We didn't get to discuss anything at nauseum. David doesn't like to talk anymore. You know, he's he's more of a. Go, 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 guy. He's, he's kind of, he's reaching into the management, folks. He used to be a really relaxed, a chill guy, and now he's like, oh, we got to get this code going. Yeah, yeah. We've got you on the clock there, buddy. <laughs> yeah, that's coming in. I'm, I'm, it's rubbing off. I've been rubbing shoulders with the management. I'm rubbing elbows with those powerful people at the top, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So, so do you think it'll run again? If, just, why not run it one more time just to make sure that that test, because I, I, I remember there's some random things in here, and I, I this, <laughs> this one isn't one of those, because I, I don't see random. But, okay. So this test, we could get by with a setup with just four. So how about we look through the rest of the test cases and make sure that they could get by with a small set as well? Because whatever, oh, look at that. Oh, there's some big card numbers. There are 64. 53 minus, oh yeah, look at those. There's some big, big arrays it was used to. Yeah, so it was, it was uh, in some cases, counting up a whole bunch of cards so that it could do things. And then here's a, a sorting test that uh, is looking for 53 cards. We could change that, of course, but it was, uh, you know, just. Oh, let's see. So sorted, yeah. this one tests that things are sorted. And uh, ordered card count, is, so it's just confirming the size, which we can change. Mm -hmm. And then it's asserting that number 23 has the card number 23, and zero has this value, zero, and 52 has value 50. I think that one's what we could, we could retrain it to fit within three or four cards as well, don't you think? Retrain it, yes, we could. And here's one of these flaky tests. I, I mark it with flaky. So that I know that it's flaky. That's a technical term. <laughs> um, head and shoulders, man. You got to use more head and shoulders if there's the flaky on that test. Yeah. 
<laughs> yes, okay. I'm with like you now. Isn't that how the ad went? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much how it went, yeah. It was two programmers sitting around talking about all the dandruff and, yeah. Flakiness, yeah. And uh, then here's your favorite test down at the bottom. Oh, test. the dump. The dump. Yeah, do you guys have that uh, uh, something, uh, some some furniture store called the dump or something? I was thinking I of landfills, but anyways, I see. <laughs> yeah, I, I think of landfills too. I don't know. I wouldn't have named it. You know, now you're talking about furniture. Is that, I'm like, well, I have David. <laughs> I, I have gotten furniture out of the land. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Living I used like to be a still college, in college is he? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, what do you so, think? Um, yeah? you think? You think we should go out here to um, Scene Delegate and grab, can I grab them all and then bring them back? And then, yeah, and then we can decide then, uh, if we're going to whit, 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 oh wow, this is hard, whittle them down or not. Pronouncing that H there is a little tough. Uh, I'm going to. You got a little I'm bit of another think. function there if you care. Yeah, I did. I uh, wanted th this uh, down here because that's how we push them, put them together, isn't it? Uh, no, that's, it's done in another thing, but, um, okay. So where were we? We were over here in deck test. And yeah. You're thinking, do we put them up here? In um, the, out in the, in the test class. Okay. You can put it at the end or the front. I don't care. Uh, but, uh, yeah. And I don't okay. think you need your, and we don't need this. Yeah. yeah. We're getting rid of this. And I, uh, I think we're going to need some portion of this deck oh. call. We'll, we'll look on line 15. It's already already done for you. Oh. oh, how about that? I can get rid of this one then. That was what you said in the first place. Well, you it? know, it's okay. I mean, you're often about nine steps ahead of me. So how about we um, get rid of five on up? All right. Um, get rid of that comma. I thought that it, um, zero, one, two, three, four, and get rid of this one to here. Put my four back. Um, and those guys will go into this guy, card sequence. Yeah, you don't need Cannot to Cannot find anymore. card zero in scope. Oh, now we got to pull the cards over. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, if you had 52, you know, this, this we would have a lot of other data too. So that's nice to whittle it down. Okay. Do you want to get, don't you love this Mark up here? <laughs> Who's, Did, I remember this, Mark. Is this a, this is homage to Mark Hughes, isn't it? Well, that's really kind it, of you, David. It is. Yes. Mark, Mark Hughes is a rockin' hardcore, uh, programmer that we all worked with yeah this is for you mark <laughs> oh i'm deleting those mark. lines Sorry, that was cold that was cold <laughs> now we know how david feels about mark <laughs> no. <laughs> no he likes to delete stuff <laughs> i knew he, there was those libertarian values and he was spouting that work all the time it, it rubbed you the wrong way <laughs> but now you got yeah. your, now you got him <laughs> was he libertarian yeah, rabid, rabidly. Yeah, okay. But he's also right, a realist so, too, so he's a libertarian realist. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, we'll have to get him on the show sometime to talk about that. <laughs> okay, look at this. We've got a color not found in scope, so we're going to have to add some mouthwash. <laughs> get that? Did you get it? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God! No, that was a little bit later. I was, you were, you were. It took me a couple of steps to get to walk there, but I got there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now we've got a compiling file. Yes. Hey, can we get rid of those statics? Because that always, you know. Do we have to? Oh, that that's it. That makes can it twitchy, we? man. Twitchy. Yes. Twitchy. Okay. We there's those, a. We can make those. There's less. a. Secret way. What's the secret way to do a multiple cut? Oh, man. Oh, you're doing it. There it is. There it is. Oh, no. Uh, it lost it somehow. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. There's a secret command for Definitely an idea. Your... I wasn't sure you could do it in Xcode, but you did the highlighter. So it's somewhere. Yeah. In 
it's it's in Xcode's ability. Uh, it's not my ability. Should we make those lets? Since oh, are, since are man! To, yeah. You just very um, <laughs> very particular about your code, aren't you? Uh, hey, I don't want those cards changing out from under us. You you don't that. That's going to slow down the card cheats, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe. I didn't think of that one. Um, so line 16, we just update that, pass in the arrays. Uh, yeah, directly. We can just delete the scene delegate part. Oh, that I was missing that. Yeah. We've got to delete that part so that it pulls the ones we want. Yeah. Yeah. All right, something's mad. And now... Zero. Oh, what? Maybe I'm. Maybe I led you astray, David. You're gonna be. You're gonna be upset with me. Let's see. What's this about? I, Card I think zero, we have to properly. I think we have to put our statics back yeah, in there. That's what undo's for. <laughs> oh. Okay. But uh, why? Yeah. Let's see. I gotta get to that part in the Swift book. I don't understand why it's not dynamic enough to do that. But that's the way it is. Hey folks, if you know the answer, send us a chat. Okay, it's happy with static. It's unhappy dynamically. I don't quite grok that yet either, but I'm so gonna sleep on that card, one. Card sequence can be um, a let. Oops. So you're wanting me to clean up again. You have generally good practices with cleaning up your code as you go, as opposed to hoping uh, that somebody will come in behind you and clean it up for you. <laughs> the intern, of course. Yes, we leave that for the intern. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, okay. I'm gonna hit the I'm gonna hit the test button and see if we're still golden. Basically, it's like this, folks. If you have variable, if you have more variables than you need, you're just wait. You're just making more. Um, how do I say trouble for yourself later? If if you don't need it, if you don't need it to be variable, don't use a variable. Even in test, that's yeah. that's everywhere. something that. Yeah, well, not yeah. I guess everywhere. Yeah, but it's. Uh, I'm a constant gentleman. <laughs> now, other people may be variable gentlemen, but. <laughs> Which one do you want to invite over to your dinner party, the constant gentleman or the variable? <laughs> um, I think variable is more fun. You know what? If you, it's nice to have one, but if you have a bunch of them, it might not be oh. that good of a dinner party. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. All right. All right, so we just broke the dependency. Boom. Did we not? Yes, but we have to probably update your tests because I know there's some sizes they were using. There was hard-coded sizes in the four eaches. Okay. I can't believe they all did they all pass, David. Because if that's that's suspicious, if they did. Yes, they did all pass. Oh, there's got to be something wrong then. No, it could be that. Let's go to the bottom where things are. I don't believe it. Uh, yeah. So. So like uh, 10, 12, 13. How did they get that out of the dictionary? I don't know. That's. <laughs> I I did hit the run button. This is going to run the whole class. Man. Fireworks, I'm telling you. Maybe we do a good clean I got build. test succeeded. How is this possible? All right, the deck. It is the deck, and you have number sequence from the local variables. And what the heck? Yeah, no, there's no way you have 13 and 14 working in there. So somehow it's got the wrong deck. How is that possible? Can we, uh, maybe the clean build, do you think? I mean, I, I don't I don't have enough yeah, trust in try, the uh, Xcode. Uh, let's try the clean builder. To be certain. Oh, and now we've popped up with an error message. Clean finished. Oh, that's weird. How do you get an error on? 
Oh, uh, interesting. Agile coaching toolbox. So that might be okay um, because it's confused and we haven't built it, but. Okay, I'll hit a build. And it's building. I don't know why it would tell us that. Let me clean yeah. It. Clean it would clean all of the targets, wouldn't it? It's supposed to. And okay. it's saying build succeeded, build generated issues, error goes away, mix the pot. I don't know. I, it, that doesn't seem linear to me. <laughs> all right. Well, I think okay. we can run the test now. Oh, yeah. Now we're going to try and retest, yeah. and we're expecting some failures. Yeah. And I assume that means all the tests succeeded. What in the world? Okay. How is that possible? Let's, let's run this one specifically. Deck.dictionary. So what happens if you go up to the declaration? So yeah, folks, we're discovering that our environment is somewhat suspicious. So if you go up to the declaration within this class for DEC, let's uh, comment out its initialization. Let's confirm that it's using the DEC we think we're using. What do you mean? Uh, uh, there's not a, it's not, you mean way up here? Right here? Yeah, what happens if you take out its initializer? So the equals, can you comment out the equals? Or maybe set it to nil or something? Because I don't understand how it can be this deck. I mean, we, we, we see how we're initializing it. And we get the, you cannot initialize specific type deck uh, to nil. So it's, what can we initialize it to? That's beyond <coughs> me. Okay, I'm trying to, okay, just take out the, well, okay. How do we really test it? Or, oh yeah, that's a good idea. Well, it compile. No, All right, so it's it saying it's using that deck. <clears throat> yep. So how is it getting more cards than we... Is there a setup somewhere in this test that's changing deck? Okay, let's search for deck. Let's see how many decks we've got. Copy. But there should be only one Put setup. it in here. Paste. That's supposed to be just one deck. Paste. And let's go down the list. Let me see. Does this go to the next one? No, it doesn't. What did that do? Go back. Huh. Um, why did it bring up this window for no apparent reason? Um, there's a whole bunch of decks in this file. And if we start at the top here, we're not seeing... Well, I, I don't... I don't, you're not in deck test anymore. Oh, we're not? Yeah, we're in deck. Thank you. So, but I think it's fine if you don't see us, uh, the, I forget the Xcode version of a, what is it, setup? Whatever Xcode does for setup. If you don't see a setup function in here, then yeah. it should be that deck. And then um, number sequence, that's an array of one, two, three, four, five. And so the arrays of size five. One, two, but there's a possibility that deck is declared inside one of these tests. Because I'd do something like that. Oh, like this right setup there. here. Oh, there it was. You found the spot. We do have a setup. <laughs> so maybe we need to move. Did we should move, move that setup like yeah. up here. Yeah. So we don't do that again. <laughs> yeah. Maybe move that var deck into there. Or not the var part, but you know. Uh, um, Actually, you just need to delete. Just delete yeah, I think. The, I think we can replace one with the other. You need to keep the var the declaration though. You need the var deck still there, and then uh, and then initialize it and set up. And then we. Yeah. Okay. Uh, only one equal signs is required. Computers are so picky. They are. Let's see if that's going to build. Static card and. member cannot be used on an instance of type 
Okay, what's it talking about here? Um, we've got these declared static. And hey. this is an instance method. And to do a static. I have a proposal. You do? Yeah. Uh, Just co copy paste 22 through 35 and put it above, you know, put it in inside a setup above the, the deck thing. And uh, well, that, that will work, right? Because it's going to be inside in a deck. In here? And then at this point, you're only going to reference it in. In, in here, that's the theory here, and then uh, then you have to, <laughs> David's going to kill me, but you know we have to delete the statics again. <laughs> <laughs> you think I should get rid of the statics again? Well, the compiler's telling you, I don't, I don't care, but. <laughs> Static property may only be declared on a type. So I can't have one in here is what you're saying. Because it's, yeah. I, I wish you'd just use plain old colloquial English as opposed to this compiler speak that I don't understand half the time. Oh, man. Okay. okay. Build again, please. Happy now. Uh, use of card zero before. Okay, so we have to move let card sequence after that block. 19 needs to move to. Above, yeah. Um, sure. Okay. Is that going to make it happy? Let's see. Class deck test has no, it's complaining to us because we have no initializers. What is it talking yes. about? Um, now I'm a little stumped on that. What is that about? Um, remember this problem? Oh, uh huh. I'm going to get rid of that because I think that was left over from doing some other stuff. Yeah, but oh my goodness, I have a small child trying to call me. And okay. Hey, small child. Are you, do you are you calling in with a tip to TDD Academy? What? We need You're, one. We're, we're live on TDD Academy. Do you have a tip for us? Well, that's not very I nice. I don't know what to do. <laughs> well, you made a call. What's on your mind? Is it and is it I test related? YouTube. That is the only thing. Oh, so can you write a unit test to get YouTube? What? Oh dear. All right, I have some more work to do, David. The other dependency right. is. Yeah, you better go. Behind. Last, I re I remember a, a an internet outage because <laughs> of this. <laughs> that's true. That's true. She may be young, but she's mighty. <laughs> All right, babe. Talk to you later. Okay, bye. Bye. So is this going to cooperate with us? We have to... Um, how about... Oh, my goodness. This is just going to be a, 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 a pain. So um, we can't put... We, we, we would like set up to always give us a fresh deck that would be valuable now one way is can we set deck to we can't set it to nil we already tried that so can we set it to a, just a deck equals and then initiate a initialize a, a, a junk deck that we don't care about you, you have to do equals don't you or or maybe we don't have to say the type do we have to say the type yeah, you got to give it a type. It's okay. a highly typed language. Oh my goodness, Safari quit. Okay. Um, it's a highly typed language, so it's highly likely that it wants a type. And you're suggesting that we do something as crazy as this. And then get rid of. And then give it zeros in there or something. Number sequence has to be an array, I think. Oh, there we are. Empty array. Beautiful. E empty array. And card sequence has to be an empty array. Nice. 
That's better and you're suggesting else. that that might compile and run. Whew, let's, I hope so. I want to. I want to get breaks and dependencies. I don't want this test to break us. It's now. Do we see some failures? They all. Uh, da, 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 that one failed. Okay. Well, because oh. there's no it, element there, so that makes sense. So, so that's a firework. Yeah. That's good. Um, and uh -huh. go, go on. Well, so um, okay. Let's make it pass now. Um, I guess we're starting from the bottom Did, and working up. So uh, that's fine. So should we I should just, we get rid of it and well, not it valuable? Just dump. Is it valuable? Is it valuable, David? What's it? It testing? used to be. Okay. I think it. I think it kind of still is. What's it testing? What is it testing? It is test. If I can't tell you, it's probably not testing it. Well, I see it asserting that zero is an add is true, and that ten is card ten and card eleven. So to me, it's like testing that you set up the test right. So you're you're kind of like testing your test. Um, mm -hmm. it, it's a little bit smelly. It's kind of like you don't have confidence in your tests to do this. So well, it was. Maybe just comment it out for now, but I'd say that I put that on the docket for deletion. Okay. All right. You're you're deletable. Yeah. That's what I told it. It's now, there's I, too many tests passing. That's a little suspicious. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're gonna see if we can't get a few more. So I know I saw some hard coded uh, array boundaries in here. Which is probably causing this problem. Okay, cool. I think we're getting the fireworks I expected. So how do we back up in your thread to the test? So over on the left hand side where it says deck tests uh, some one of those things will get us to line number of the thing under test. Um, so like try like see where the nine is highlighted? Pick a different one, like go either the nine? You mean these? No, so there's no line number there, but you see that where the arrow is that points at the breakpoint where it's at nine dictionary subscript getter. <laughs> nine dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, what, it's what it literally says. I'm yes. speaking swift to you. Okay. Oh, this thing over yeah. here, this black thing. So back it up. Go up to the one above. I'm, I'm guessing that's the direction towards your code. And keep going. One more. Swift. Yeah, that's not helping. Okay, go the other direction. What's 10? I don't know exactly how the stack, what order this. Oh, here we. Okay, keep going. Keep going, till we see some code that you wrote. Oh, yeah. Deck test test plus one. Now, I guess that was code you wrote back there, right there. Yeah, click on that. Yeah. So this one is saying like, hey man, there's no 23 here, David. What's going on? That's what that's what Swift's trying to tell you. Uh, and you have a fix. <laughs> Could have used there. English again, right? <laughs> okay, so. Um, this is supposed to test a plus one, so we want to, uh, let me think, I think we want to go to two and expect a three sort of thing. Um, you know, if I delete the twos, I, and a two plus one is supposed to be a three, and I think we have that many cards in our deck, so... Can yeah. I, can I just blindly kind of say yeah. I, I think I almost know what I'm doing? Sure. A little bit. Let's see. So let is getting the key for dictionary All right, that three. That one. That and one passed. Nice. I, I'm just actually trying to study the code. So I see you got a key, and then later you get the index. I don't know. It's a little bit hard here. I, what hard I'm doing is. Yeah, so cards are stacked in a deck on top of each other, and the question is, are they one, two, three down, or are they at the bottom coming up back, back up this way? And I, I think they're one, two, three, four, five, like oh. that, down. And, oh, I'm, okay. and I'm, I'm looking at this card and saying the plus one card, the, the card that's one more than me yeah. in the deck, is number three. Okay. So... I wonder if you could name that function a little bit more clear. Well, well like, this is the name of the function in the deck. Okay. 
Um, and then the, and then put another underbar and maybe express a little bit more like plus one should return the next card, next lower card. Is that could we say that in the deck? Or you could just say next card. Maybe next card is good enough. I can't write this way. Okay. Like Question that? Should return. Yeah, that looks good. That. Am so I, I missing like, this part? Yeah. Um, I like that you say plus them? one. You're saying what API you're testing, and then you're mentioning the scenario just to help us really understand what's going on. Okay. Good, Be good because, practice, huh? so, so let me see if I can explain it to you and you can tell me if I'm right. So dictionary, deck dictionary number three, and you get the key for that. And then you go down to deck card index two. And then you go to the next line says deck plus one. So you set the card index to two. So you should get back the three. Okay, that makes sense. So let me think, could I help? Make it more we, could, clear. we could have written um, that clearer somehow. I'm not sure how. I would change key to um, card plus one, maybe. I would say like the words card plus one, and then uh, you know you, you have to check me if you believe agree with me. But key, key you can yeah. I would refactor that name to the word card plus one. And then that way, and then you go to card index, which is, so two is a magic variable in this word, in this situation. Mm -hmm. um, so I would just say, uh, can I type for a moment? Let me see here. Oh yeah. I think you might have to request permission. Shoot. I always like always this, this part. governance going on. Yeah, I see governance. that. Governance. <laughs> David's. I love this part. <laughs> I approve. Oh, I approve your measly request. <laughs> the government of David has allowed. All right. So let's see here. So and then we'll let um, next card or earlier card. It's not. It's the earlier card. Top card. Top card. Earlier yeah. card. Top card equals two. Two. And then we're just going to say top card. Top right. card. Uh, and then the yeah, and then the plus one card is the three card. Yeah, and maybe you want to say. I think card plus one's okay. Maybe that could be improved as well, but I'm not sure. Uh, I was I was trying to think if that should be called bottom card, <laughs> but it's a it's a it's a hard scenario. I'm trying to think of how to make it even simpler, but may, I don't want to spend too much time on this one test. By the way, uh, I think yeah, we should try to. I'm going to run it again to make sure you didn't break anything <laughs> with your fancy oh, I, words. I tried. I tried. <laughs> all right. All right. Test succeeded. We're moving on. Now let's, let's run them all again and see if all of them, I think we've got some more possibilities of breakages. Yeah. yeah. Now we know how to use the stack in uh, Xcode. That's cool. Yeah, the stack is upside down, isn't it? Yeah, they'll ver I think every ID is a little bit weird, different on that. OK, so we're in deck previous. OK, card index is 20. Well, Get a deck with some cards hidden. I say we do something like set it to 3. And previous to three should probably be something like two. Uh, right. And what is, oh, and then we're. Do two more previouses. Two Ooh, more. You barely oh, have I, a big enough deck. You've got oh, zero, baby. It's there. No, it wraps. It wraps. Is that what this you want thing. to test, though? So what is your intent to test? Do you want to test wrapping? Oh, you have another test for wrapping below. I have a test for wrapping below. So this is redundantly. B not needed. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah, you're right. Good point. We just need to check that it works at all. Yep. And testing. That's interesting. You said this is redundantly not needed. So <laughs> that's a rather redundant <laughs> way to say that. <laughs> <Is it? laughs> 
could I add a recursive in there somehow? <laughs> you're you're an English major, aren't you? Or infinite recursion. Aren't you an English major or something? No, do, but I do, maybe I should have been. <laughs> do you know um, um, who is the guy from Lake Wobegon? And he's always talking about English majors. Guy Noir. Like, is that the one? Yeah. Well, that's yeah, yeah, the the inventor of Guy Noir. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's his name? He's always talking about English majors because as like the best things in the world. Because <laughs> he was one. Yeah, yeah. Well, that makes sense if you're going to do a show. All right. Test failed. We're back to test failures yeah. where so we zero got is not 41 because. Up here. Yeah, we didn't wrap properly. So maybe you should go one, two. Wow, why are you starting at one, by the way, instead of zero? <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting, too. Because I can. Did you? Because I, I. Okay. Yeah. So if I went from one to six. Oh, because it'll wrap. Then I would go. <clears throat> there's a zero, and then there's a one, two, three, and a four, right? And so yes. we go one, two, three, four, five, six. We'd be back here at one. Yeah. So there are five cards in the deck. We're going to go six times, and we're expecting five cards in the deck. Ah. Is that math going to come out to one? No, that's one. Four. That's four. Okay, so I didn't do that right. Should I just get rid of it and say we expect it to be card one? I think so. Because <laughs> I don't know. The math is yeah. getting harder than just. Yeah. And we can okay. put a magic. We can explain it in a second. If this test passes, I, I, we can. Uh, we'll put in. We'll describe the magic variables here. Didn't. It was didn't work four. It. Oh, four. the math was right. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Why is math so hard? <laughs> I can't explain Assu it. Assumedly, that's how it's supposed to work. So I figured it out a six. long time ago, and I can't explain it now. So it's going to loop from one to six, and it means it's going to go previous. Oh, I counted the wrong way. See, I went this way, and I didn't. I didn't go previous. Uh, all right. So it's. It's going to start here and go one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, back to one. Beautiful. It's all right. That's, that's, that's still the wrong answer, though. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So when I look at this loop, it's starting, well, yeah, it, it's starting at one. It's going to loop in there five. All right. I, I have a little bit of trouble with this. Is it going to, it's going to stop at six. Right? It's going to do, so that means it's going to loop six times. <sighs> Which is, I think, what it. you did. Oh, and you assert your deck index is zero, by the way. That's a key point. Oh, okay. And now, you can make, you yeah. can change it to one if you want. This is your test. <laughs> yeah, so I assert that deck index is on zero, and I was starting to. So it on zero and then go one, two, three, four, five, six. And that gets to and five, <laughs> that which gets is still not equal to, to four. <laughs> no, that gets me to four. Oh, does it? Well, beautiful. Z That's yeah, zero, one, two, three, four. Okay. Yep. Yeah, no, we're all uncomfortably silent, but yeah, I think that's right. And I, and I think it, yeah, I wouldn't get too hung up on this. I think it's, it sounds right. And then let's try to maybe. And we've gotten the wrap to work. Yeah. So. Can I, can I do some test typing in here? Yeah. Um, do we have any magic variables? Yes, we do. Uh, we start, no, you're just going to loop six times. I think that's all this really means. Yep. Can we make yep. it clear? I don't know. That's probably all right. And then this is where we have magic variables again. And then this is where we have six because it's the number of cards. No, it's the number of loops we're going to do. Oh, okay. All right. 
number of cards is five. Shoot, sorry. And then number of cards is five. That's going to be equal to deck dot count. Count? Okay. I don't think that has a count. Might be something else inside there. Oh, it's deck dot cards dot count. Or is that what you're telling me? I'm not seeing anything though. Is it lowercase. How come it doesn't come up with some nice help? Yeah, I don't know. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna assume it's IntelliSense is correct and it, it isn't gonna help me. So I'm gonna type in. Sorry, how many cards do we have? Five. Zero to four. That's five cards. And then. I'm gonna move and that's all the magic numbers you need. So folks, you may be wondering why I'm bothering to do this. It's because next time we look at this test, we don't want to spend a lot of time thinking about it, scratching our head like we did today. So we're, we're trying to capture <laughs> that information in here. Loops. And number number of fruit loops. Sit. All right, and we do start with number of cards. Now the minus five, I don't know if that really means number. I think, I'm not sure if, it's a coincidence maybe that it's equal to five and it, which happens to be our number of cards. Is that true or is that not true? What does that five mean? Number of loops minus five. I don't know, how, I don't know if I'm gonna touch that one. <laughs> That's supposed to be the number of loops and it's supposed to come back with the index. So number of cards we know is five. The number of loops is some number we said is six. And then we're subtracting five because that's where you get a little lost. Mm. Okay, I just made an assumption that that was number of cards, but you're, you may be right. It may be a, a, a coincidental other five but well, it could be number of cards david i'm a little bit I'm, tr I'm trying to i can't conceptually connect it right now though that's where i'm at mm -hmm. i i'm not i'm not making that connection either well maybe we leave it the way it is until somebody until we have a smarter day and we can <laughs> adjust it a smarter day would help sometimes yeah hey maybe i could say that the tracking chip is interfering with my brains <laughs> And I, I see got, there's a beanie hat about that on YouTube. I'm getting these YouTube ads about, whoa, you know, and he shows how the signal from 4G and 5G cell phones are interfering with your brain. I didn't know that. Well, you I, know, it's conspiracy, but I, I radiation I, does, is out there. So it's going through us all the time. We're getting lots of radiation. Yeah. Okay. Now we're back to magic numbers again. Sorted. That word, cards, deck sorted. Okay. So, all right, what's this testing? This is testing that a deck is sorted. Um, and that means what? In numeric order. Okay, so, so this comment on 177, I would put it on, add that on to the test name so that you don't need the comment. And the, so like you do test, underbar, sorted, underbar, in numeric order, <clears throat> or sorted by card number, however you want it, whatever makes the most sense. Numeric order works for me. Um, yeah, sorted. Yeah, but it's by card number. There's other okay, numbers number. in there. Okay. Boy, by. I'm used to type in English with spaces in between words. It's hard oh, to do. And you're saying I can get rid of this then? Yeah. And, then it, and that, that's going to make you much happier. Well, and the, the test runner will show it. Everybody will have a little more visibility, and they will have to look at. Oh, okay. And then um, this 53 was a count of the number in there, and I don't know that that's necessary, is it? I mean, now it's going to be five. Yeah. We know that. That's kind of a given because of our, our test setup. Um, yeah, to answer your question whether it's necessary or not, it probably isn't because there's lots of tests that are, are, are depending on that working. Um, mm -hmm. And then we have 
uh, we're trying to get the value in order card number 23. So let's just change that to number three. Also known as number two. Or, <laughs> <laughs> yes, because of the all the dang zero array stuff. Yeah, this is exactly what I meant. And then we could get zero and also known as zero, and then um, we could get. Oh I dear, we have card numbers too. Uh, maybe we, well, if we can we can fix the variable names. Yeah. And then, uh, is there a card five? I don't think there is. I think there's only a card four. Um, well, there's five cards. One starts at zero. Right. I'm going to put a one on this so that I get back to some uh, symmetry. I've got a refactoring for you later. That'll even make it even more better. We'll more see. better? Yeah. Let's, let's get this baby running. Okay. And, uh. Let's see if that runs. I, yeah. I'm willing to roll the dice. <laughs> All right, so this test proves that the cards <laughs> what it proves. are card in two numeric order has the value of two. Two. That's all. And card zero has a value of zero. And all right, so, yeah. whoops, hang on a second. My pestering device is pestering me to go do something. Hang on a second, and I will. Mm, the pestering device. Yes, that's how anything gets done in the world. You have to have a pester device, or a person. <laughs> Mine's automated, sort of. Um, okay, cool, so let me try something here. I have not done this in Xcode. Let's see what happens. If I do a card one, and I highlight that baby. And then I go up to the menu and I find I don't know oh, it's the contextual menu. You want to refactor that and rename it? Oh, so I was going to, it'd be nice just to inline this because we don't need these variables. That's my opinion. What do you think? Okay, <laughs> show me that. Because we're maintaining our variables for no reason. No like. valid reason? Yeah, other than just to annoy us and make us maintain them <laughs> like that. So does this look okay? Like if you say, hey, ordered card number two value, and that number should be two. Does that work for you? Or yeah. No? Yeah, that works. Actually, kind of, it, it kind of simplifies the things I have to keep in my head. Sweet. Yeah. Cognitive load reduced. Yeah. I'm, I'm liking that move. <laughs> Hey, can you do that for the other ones? No, I'm going to be inconsistent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to trigger somebody later like, what? Who did this? And what does it mean? What kind of inconsistency? <laughs> what does this mean? Oops. Why wouldn't he do it for all of them? Yes. There must be a reason. And then they're going to spend time thinking about it. Cognitive load increased. Yeah, folks, uh, we try to get our code as simple as possible. So, so do you study cognitive hard. loads? So we can go faster. Can you tell how loaded on my cog cogs are? It's just like that CPU meter what tells you when your CPU is really busy. Yeah. <laughs> There's one for Delete that print line there. You don't even see it, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, do we need this one? Like, what's this about cards that are hidden? I don't know. Get a deck with some cards hidden. I'm assuming yeah, that, that was, was a 4G, 5G irradiation error that happened. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like it, it, it probably Conspiracy, put, David. There's hidden cards in your deck. Who put them yes. in there? All right. Sweet. All right. Is that all of them then? I think we have to run them all and find out. Let's see here. Oh, we didn't run them all yet. Card tests, um, right? Um, yeah. Uh, you got to do the one up above it to run them all. Oh, okay. Well, that would run all the tests in the whole suite. Is that what we're yeah. trying to do? Oh, okay. Well, I have some. Uh, because we got a failure. Deck test swift. Oh, we have one failing out there. Uh, all right. So this is a flaky test. <laughs> Which is now more flaky because of the smaller deck, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, before long, you're going to have me fix this, aren't you? <laughs> let's, let's, All right. let's go with this next wraparound first before we make yeah. the flaky test. Okay, exit. Okay, so we're checking that card index starts at zero. You probably have done that enough times everywhere else. So I think we can delete that, right? Yeah. All right. You get these tests down to one liners pretty soon. Uh, okay, so we know we don't have 60 cards. Okay, so go to that. six. Wrap. Wraps um, around. But you already have a Tesla wrap around, right? Yeah, this is wrapping. This is going next. The other one was going previous. So oh, I'm going both next. Ways. Good, good call. All right. So we still need it. And uh, let's get rid of some magic variables. So a deck. Oh, wait. We don't know our count. We haven't been able to access our count for whatever reason. Our card. Um, Would this give us what we want? Is all cards in an array that I could get the size? So of? I take I take the deck and I put it into all cards to save it in another place so that I can do some shuffling and stuff in places and then pull back in the other one. So all cards should be the number in the other one. I, I know that's confusing. Did you catch all that? Is this going to be that? the right thing? Is this going to be the end of the array? I th yes, it is. Right. As long as everything else remains not broken. <laughs> and then that's going to go next. And that's going to go to... So you want oh, six minus deck count. You're going to go... Count. Okay. You're going to go... I think you're going to start at zero. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know where this 53 came from. That's the number, that's the deck count. 53 is the deck count in the previous deck before we butchered it to five. So. Previous deck. Um, I, it's sorry, so up there in. Yeah, can I take over yeah, for a second? Yeah. You betcha. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Roll the dice. Loop count is six. Deck count is going to be. Uh, 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 five. Six minus five is. Here's one. the five. Look at this, Lance. Hey, babe, Look you want to come screen. on the show? We're doing a live stream right now. Want to come say hi to the we're audience? We're learning to count programmer style. I've had almost every family member step into the show in some way or another today. You might as well complete it here. Say hi. There we are. Hi. Wow. <laughs> the Shades movie star. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Nothing. He's just saying Shades movie star. He's calling you movie star. Okay. You don't want to talk about TDD? You must have uh, some suggestions for us. You were watching the stream, right? And you ran in here to give us a tip. No? Yeah. No. Oh, I tried, David. Everybody's just like coming by. But I nobody him, wants to. I need to have him bring soft drinks or something or a glass of wine. <laughs> glass of wine. All right, look at this, Lance. Yeah? You're going to start at zero and you're going to loop six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you end up at one. Okay. Sweet. That should work. And it does. It does. Sweet. I ran it. All right, one test left. Test shuffle. Oh, that's oh, the flaky one. <laughs> yeah. What are we going to do about the flake, the flaky test? The hmm. flaky test. So I don't think we really have a shuffle working anymore. I don't know if we do or not. I'm willing to give it up. I remember I there was something about mocking and a mock object, and we did random. And I see test random card up there. Um, are those things overlapping 
themselves. Yeah, a little more up, like 163, if you keep going, there's a random, test random first card, test random last card, test random random, <laughs> a random <laughs> card random. <laughs> test random card is random, okay. So I don't know, what is shuffle doing that's different? Shuffle, well, di is random different than shuffle? I guess that's the first question. So random is a, is a call, so I guess it is. You have a shuffle call, and you expect shuffle call to change the order of the cards, right? Yes. So why, why wouldn't that work with five cards? Is it possible to shuffle them, have them come out the same order? Hmm. Uh, possibly, I don't know. Oh, yeah, it should work with five cards. Yeah, There's I think so. The reason why it can't. Right. So we're saying that card one is at station one and we're remembering that and then we're doing the shuffle and then we're saying that one prime which is the now one is uh, going to not be the same yeah that makes sense and <clears throat> so that works i'll bet sometimes Yeah, and it, it worked that time. Wow. Okay. So it's still flaky. All right. So how do we make it not flaky? Um, I oh think boy. in order to make it not flaky, we have to mock out the shuffle thing. And I decided that I'd rather stick with flaky. <laughs> well, we have code for mocking. I'm trying to figure out. Whoops. I'm not sure exactly why does this count keep bothering me. Um, okay, so what's going on here? Let's do this. It's not bothering me. Uh, okay, so, okay, random, if we take control of random, we can pick what random means and control it. Um, and deck shuffle. comes in and does a dictionary shuffle, which is a built-in method. Uh, and and so. I tried I oh. tried my best to do a mocked shuffle deck yeah. and got wrapped around and commented it out and said I'll stick with the flakiness. So you really care all you care, so dictionary shuffle was written by Apple, and we can assume that it's high quality and it won't 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 flake out or we'll we'll do the yeah. appropriate thing. So we really just want to have a like a, a spy to tell us that dictionary shuffle is called when shuffle is called. Uh, so, or is, we could just say we trust that we wrote the code right. We could, but it's nice to you know let's just if we take take this. Okay, let's a just spy. Give a shot I've never this. done a spy. Well, so yeah. instead of mocking, we're going to do a spy. Yeah. Well, it's it's. Let's so you still use a mock object. The mock object reports back to you, hey dictionary. So if oh. we can if we can inject in our own dictionary, mm -hmm. and 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 it will tell us hey shuffle was called or not. Um, is it possible to inject a dictionary right now? Is it already like I don't remember how we did the random. Oh, we used a partial mock for random. I remember that now. Mm -hmm. So we didn't inject an object. Um. Can I see the um, the code that we override for random, just to see if I if there's a, a a seam that we can use to take control of this situation? Random card index, and then and then here's the random card index, and yeah, that, then that, that is that yeah. the shuffle, so that won't help me. Okay, cool. So that 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 isn't any helpful. So can we? How is dictionary declared in here? Is there a property that we can get to? Um, a writable property? Let's see how it's declared. Yeah. I'm, it's in deck. I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure how there to is. answer your Published question. Published var dictionary. So there we are. So we just, um, oh, what's public? So can we just inject our own dictionary? Mm hmm. Okay. So copy that declaration, the dictionary string, yada, yada. And uh, let's go into the unit test and inject our own dictionary that will spy on this uh, 
deck class and say, hey, they call them shovel, it's okay. And we go, okay, good, test pass. So we're going to use a, another dictionary that's uh, so deck, a spy. Deck dictionary equals the R dictionary. Um, but, and we'll declare a, our own dictionary and override the shuffle method. Okay, so it, it, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Why don't you try? Yeah, let me try. So it's like, yeah, I want to do it in Java because it, uh, this is a great case for anonymous classes, but we already tried that before. That yeah, really this works. doesn't like anonymous, but you can declare a class right in here. Yeah. Oh, is that what the, you need to do? Oops. We can do it in the method or just in the class? Yeah, right in this method. Oh, sweet. You yeah. do, uh, okay. So, okay. Um, class, now called going? spy dictionary. That's what you want, a spy dictionary. Or dictionary spy, uh, it's up to you. Honestly, if you have a lot of spies, it's nice to start with the, the thing first before spy, but it, it's okay. Well, let's get it right, because if not, Lance will come back and, come, oh, sorry. <laughs> and then override, was it at override, or is that, no, that's Java. Do we do override? We do overrides in Swift too, don't we? Uh, I don't think you need to override the method here, okay. do you? Well, do you? We just need to override Function, the um, uh, shuffle. shuffle. Is it E-L or L-E? Shuffle. Okay, we'll find out. I'm, we might have to override that. Yeah. And then just, yeah. let's see. Okay, so now... How do we communicate back? Okay, so we have to have a, in our dictionary spy, you need a, a public um, signal that we can set within shuffle to say, hey, it was called. So just say shuffle called. Is, or, is there a par paradigm in, uh, about Booleans in Swift? Shuffle is called, something like that. You want to initialize it to false, please. <laughs> And we'll set it to true when the shuffle is called down there. Okay. okay. All right. I and think then if that, that works, probably, we're done. Does that the shuffle need a uh, parens on it? Probably. Who's not? Who's not happy now? Corrected a var in property declaration. Oh yeah, change public yeah. to var. And cannot find spy because, yeah, because that was a lit. Lit. And this is supposed to be dictionary spy. Um, yeah. Oh, interesting. I've never used generics in this manner, so this will be curious. How and then this is generic -y stuff for dictionary. Do, do we care? I guess we do. Yeah, I, I think so. Um, um, well, oh, we haven't inherited. So class dictionary needs to, hold on a second. No, no, we're fine. So now we inject that into the, into the deck. So deck dot, um, I don't think you need the let dictionary. I think you just want, well, yeah, you do. Never mind. Never mind me. So you need that. You got to go back and assert on it later. That's, that, uh, that this has got to, something about this is wrong ordered or something. It's bothering me. That card one of dictionary, oh, dictionary is going to have to take. Um, you don't need that anymore. Because we're going to the cards. We're just going to like okay. shuffle and see if shuffle is called and we're done. <laughs> okay. Then we're going to do. Um, so you need to inject that dictionary into the deck. So deck, lowercase d, deck dot dictionary equals our dictionary. Well, I'm, I meant, sorry, the, the dictionary that you declared on line 187? Yeah, I'm... Oh, you're going to do that? Okay. <laughs> if I can do that in English... 
that's what you meant, I think. Yeah. And then we're going to call this, and we're not going to worry about that. Right. And then we're going to come down here, and we're going to go, um, we expect. Um, Dictionary dot is called to be true. Assert equals rather than not equals. Yeah, take that out. Okay. And what else? Do we think? Do we think that's a winner? No, something's not quite right with the syntax. I'm trying to figure out what it is. Um, okay, dictionary spy is a class we declared above. And we didn't inherit from dictionary. Ah, that's the problem. Okay, so um, remember the declaration for dictionary? We need to inherit from a dictionary up there. And I'm a little unclear if that needs to have the type, like the generic. We have to be specific type. You know, the, remember the, the, the angle mm -hmm. brackets with the string and yada? Yep. I think it have to it does in. want that. Okay. Um, and that's in DAC if you want to go back and copy that. Oh, it's right here in deck, huh? We don't need that capacity. Um, so we still got deck dictionary, our dictionary. Maybe that's going to be happier now that I've put the... Like that. from non-protocol non-class type dictionary so is dictionary not a class it's got to be a class well i would think it's a class dictionary is yeah built-in collection class um it is these are generics and that's probably um that's probably the wrong syntax for when you're declaring it here. Um, see this, uh, it took me forever to figure out this stuff. So, uh, dictionary is a generics. Mm -hmm. The angle brackets are genericness. But we, these are specific, so. Can you uh, do a Google search for Swift inherit from dictionary and see what we learn. I don't know, you're off camera on that one. Is that okay? And maybe you can Yeah, <laughs> I'll get it here in a second. From uh, I'll see if I can spell it right. Oh. Come down here to the answers and see if they put it in bold. Swift dictionaries are structs, not classes. Okay. Um, but I think we can still. Oh, is that what it's saying? Well, the one above there, I just saw that. Um, it says Swift dictionaries are structs, not classes, so they cannot be subclassed. Ideally, the method you're working with would be declared to take appropriately constrained generic collection type rather than a specific dictionary. If that doesn't work, for you, for whatever reason, you could subclass NS dictionary instead. Uh, okay, maybe. <laughs> this subclass from NS dictionary. All right, and then somebody's pointed out you can do an extension on dictionary, but the only bad thing about that is what? What's the bad thing? Um. Well, okay. It's like a global variable. Whenever you do an extension, it changes it for the whole runtime environment. So if we sure extend it just inside this class, I mean inside this method, the function test method, that would be okay, right? Hey, if or the would it works extend that way, it I'm, I'm with you. If it did, if it, you know, so so it's worth a try.
All right, I have no idea how to do this. Um, um, do we want extends? Yeah. Extends or extension? Right, I'll have to look it up. <laughs> ext e x t e n t i o n s i o n extension extension. There we are. All right. Extension. I wonder if you don't need that, and you probably don't. I don't think need, need this. Either. It's just dictionary. Yeah. So, you're so you have get... to say what you're extending. You're extending dictionary. Not not. There's no dictionary spot in this picture. Oh, I see. And now, so all dictionaries at this point will be, at least in this. You know, I, I yeah. We'll find out. Yeah, and then. So it has to be at file file scope. It says. Um, and then the extension cannot have a stored property so we don't have a way to do our pass back extension must not contain stored property yeah a lot of problems there um okay so another way is i assume we can't structs can't extend structs is that true you can extend a struct which is what we're trying to do but you can't uh subclass a struct so they oh, can't have a oh, subclass that's what I meant. okay you can't yeah. subclass a struct yeah. Okay. So I think we're kind of stuck on that one. I don't think we can. I mean, we don't have a lot of time left on the show. We probably ought to like wave the white flag on this one because I, okay. I don't have an easy solution. Unless you had another idea, I don't right now. Um, I don't. So maybe. Here's my idea. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can undo it back to what it was there before and leave it for a challenge in the future. I, I just don't have a solution uh actually we'll just... this is hey <laughs> how about this um can you put the can you undo the yeah there we are and uh go ahead and stop and uh hey we're gonna use the we're gonna use the power of the internet we're gonna we're not gonna solve this problem now but we're gonna use the power of the internet to help us later so we're gonna go over to this is actually a good tip i think for people we're gonna go over to Slash, you can't see what I'm doing, David. Sorry, unless, unless you want to drive, and I could do it through you. No, so no, we're gonna go no. over to Stack Overflow and ask a question, <laughs> because this is a oh. nice, tidy question. Um, okay. Well, wait a minute. They already asked it, didn't they, David? We'd be re-asking the same question, and those folks at Stack Overflow will say, "Hey, they already asked this question. You crazy man? Why'd you ask us again?" So, because you were at Stack Overflow, they gave us an answer, and. I guess if we could ask the same question it, again, that would be bad. It, so yeah, never mind. It was create a Swift dictionary subclass question mark. Can I subclass Swift dictionary? Yeah. And the answer was no, you, or you could use extension or you could use NS dictionary. How about we just try yeah. NS dictionary in this one? Just to, maybe it's a, a super class of dictionary and maybe that would work. No, it, well, it, it can't be. So, NS dictionary here, like that, is what you're saying. Yeah. I mean, this is something that somebody said. I have no idea if it'll work either, but it's an interesting idea. It's possible if, if NS dictionary is a parent to dictionary, it could work. I have no idea, though. But it can't be because oh, NS well. dictionary is a class and dictionary uh, is a struct. Good point. Yeah. Well, why would he say that? That's bad advice, I suppose. I think he's saying you can replace, you could substitute, not, if that doesn't work, you can, for you, for whatever reason, you could subclass NS dictionary instead to have your own dictionary that was an NS dictionary. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, and use the whole NS dictionary tree. Okay. I get what he's saying. I'm not super interested in that, are you? No. Mm -mm. All right. So yeah, do do as as you will. Do as you will. Yeah. No, we don't know how to test shuffle right now on a on a, on a struct. Yeah. So maybe we'll figure it out later. Okay. So yeah. how many do we have any other failing tests left? I don't think so. Is that like bug spray, that little spray can that's next to your tests? <laughs>
It is. It's the debugger. <laughs> nice. I like that. Love. I didn't ever catch that's on that that's spray. bug spray. <laughs> I did not. That I just, I never, I don't use the debugger much. Oh, that's so, smart man. Wow. That's, if you watch the unit test and you don't need bug spray. Show the debugger navigator. How about that? Yeah, all the tests are passing. Okay. The question is, do we have any dependencies? I'm sure we did, we only did this in deck tests, right? So we still have cards, cards tests. Wow, you have cards test and card tests. <laughs> <laughs> That's tough, isn't it? But I don't know if there's any dependencies in these. It might, might not be. I'll just have to take a look. Maybe search for the word, what's that thing called? Um, Deck. Scene delegate. Yeah, I don't see any. Okay. And how about cards test? Yeah, there's only like one in there and a knit. Oh, there's our scene delegate. Oh. Well, that'll be easy though, right? We're experts at this since we just did one uh, test. So if you go over to your setup, yeah, just copy your setup over here. Oh, did I say copy? Better look around, make sure you, the coast is clear you first. You did, you <laughs> did. Yes, indeed. Um, do we need that whole shooting match of Parapola? So. Well, it's going to be in the function. It doesn't have to be in a setup now, but I would actually put it in a setup because maybe later there'll be more tests here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And right now, now we whether only... you need all those cards, that's a different matter. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we do. So we're going to get rid of most of them. Sweet. Because this is like the Lance kind way. Minimalism, of baby. Minimalism. minimalism. We're going to be Swedish now. Yeah. Good God, my phone is just killing me today. All right. That's what happens so when the show runs over. All my timing of, things are bothering me. Out of things. setup, we're going to get a deck, and then we're going to. We don't even use the deck in here. Here's cards uh, and our sequence. Well, that's interesting. It just needed the card sequence is all it needed. So we can delete everything but card sequence in our setup. We just need the card sequence declared. Well, and the card for the card sequence. Okay. So card, is card sequence going to come out of that? So we've got a card sequence. Yeah. It's called card sequence. Amazing. And we've got a number sequence. Yeah, but you don't need line 28, and you don't need line 20. You, you need that one, though, unless you're going to move it to the test. And right. you're saying I don't need this one? You don't need that one, yeah. Oh, I must have made a mistake. You need card zero. We deleted card zero somewhere. Maybe that was the last thing we deleted. Okay. Right? Do we need card zero? Yeah, because you need card sequence, and card sequence is that. Oh, but card sequence needs to be declared outside of. So, yeah, that needs to be a class variable. Card sequence needs to be a class variable in this case, and we don't need deck, but we need card sequence as a class variable. I think copy paste. What the heck? Yeah, your copy paste malfunction. You, you go ahead and undo one more. I had a copy paste malfunction. Yeah. You were nervous. You were looking out for the, see if the coast is clear. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sweat was rolling down your eyebrow. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, and you're saying I don't need a deck. Not now. Yeah. Not yet. And I've got, I don't actually need a number sequence because I'm faking oh, it. True. And then I've you got a card sequence. sequence. Oh, yeah. And that ought to pass. Yeah. And it fails. Because Controller. card zero is not in scope anymore. So I'm going to get rid of that crap. <laughs> and I'm going to get rid of that. You can just put that in the crap. test if you want now. Get rid of that crap? Well, because you don't want to declare them statics, you might as well just move that in the. I'm, I'm suggesting maybe just move it in the test. And that makes a lot of sense because then my test is very. Um, focused on what I'm setting up, right? Yeah, I mean, I, that's I, kind of a good thing. Yeah, 
I mean, I'm like in the middle there. If you had two tests, yeah, definitely go with the setup. But with only one test, it's, it's uh, you know, it's more code than you oh. oh, yeah, import that, baby. Got to import those uh, colors. Oh, and yeah, the order is a little bit wrong, too. I'll fix that. And then they, the yeah, I'm gonna move 22 behind 23 or below 23. I wonder who could interrupt me today. Like every family member did interrupt me. Oh, Joel, Joel, you should call. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is about the time that um, your friend, what's his name, calls. Oh, uh, Taylor. Taylor, yeah, I haven't heard from yeah. Taylor in a while. Card sequence before its declaration. Uh, it's got to be before 25, but after 23. <laughs> Particular. Oh, well, we only have like four lines of code. It's like <laughs> I'm, I'm not reading anymore. I'm just so tired I can't read. Yeah, I, well, it's Friday. I'm just it's like Friday's moving kicking in. objects Just around. succeeded. All right, cool. So uh, let's run them all. And it uh, looks to me, if they all pass, we've broken the dependency. And if we haven't, we'll find out later when we really break the dependency. So, hey folks, next show, the way to really test if we broke the dependency is to put these two babies in separate modules so that the, gotta look over there at the reference structure, deck pack library, deck pack library is in a separate module and has no idea about anything else. And when we, if we, when we do that and we compile it, if it's still finding, looking for a scene delegate, well, the compiler will tell us that we missed something. All right. All right. All right. So I think that's right. a show. Oh, what's the SF symbol tests? That one looks suspicious. What is that down there? Um, that is probably nothing. Um, SF symbols is a um, a built-in class, so we don't really need to test it and I was probably making up some tests to test uh, I don't know I I forget but um, it's basically not really testing much anything okay all right well it's okay we, we can it's I don't see any jump. dependency so I'm not worried about it yeah okay so is that a wrap David that's a wrap all right folks this is enjoy uh, it Yes, I did too. We did some, uh, we did some, uh, what did we do? We did, we did some refactoring and it broke out our dependency. So uh, I think that was all good. So all see right. you next, well, oh, that's right. Next week I will be on vacation in the Texas Houston area. So if you, that's why I'm standing really tall right today on OBS. David's on the short chair, I'm on the tall chair right now for some reason. <laughs> uh, so, so, uh, if you're in the Houston area, want to catch a beer, send me a tweet or Twitter at, at Lancer Kind, and uh, we'll go hang out. Awesome. All right, guys. That's a week. Enjoy your weekend. X out. <laughs>